Hey everybody, this is Scott Grammer and I am the Old Audio Guy. And what you're looking at here is a very fine example of a Dynaco Stereo 70 or ST70 power amplifier. These were made starting in 1959 and they ended up making over 350,000 of these things, making it the most popular vacuum tube amplifier ever made. This is a fairly fine example of one. It's in very good condition, save for the problems, which I'll detail here in a minute. It's all fixed up now and so uh, it's about to go home. Uh, the problem that this had was due to mainly a bad rectifier tube. I'm not sure if it's the rectifier that was in it when I got it that caused all of the problems or if uh, a previous rectifier did it, but the one that was in it was not doing so well anyway. This amplifier uses a vacuum tube called a 5AR4 as its rectifier. The 5AR4 is a very high quality rectifier tube. It has lower voltage drop than most rectifier tubes and it also is a very slow turn on rectifier which means that it takes about 20 seconds after you hit the switch for the high voltage to begin to build up because of the design of the rectifier and that is actually a good thing because it allows all the other tubes in the amp to come up to full temperature before they see any appreciable high voltage and that makes those tubes last longer the issue is when you put chinese rectifier tubes in a stereo 70 Stereo 70s and Chinese rectifier tubes do not get along. The Chinese rectifiers are not high quality and they cannot withstand anywhere near the peak inverse voltage that the older vacuum tubes used to handle and uh, not anywhere near the factory spec for a 5AR4, the, the industry spec is what I'm trying to say. So what happens is when you put a 5AR4 in a Stereo 70, a Chinese 5AR4, uh, and you hit the switch, once the power supply comes up to full uh, voltage, there is a great deal of peak inverse voltage involved, and it's more than that tube can handle, and it begins to arc inside. Makes for a really interesting light show, but it otherwise makes for a very bad day because it does things like, well, if you take a look at this choke, this is the original filter choke, and it is burned to a crisp, and it had to be replaced. Uh, it's also very hard on the filter caps, so I went ahead and replaced the filter caps and also the bias supply capacitors because they were original and really needed to go. So once all of that was done, plus a couple of other things like putting a new grommet around the AC power cord where it goes into the back of the amplifier, uh, the amp began to behave pretty well. There was still some problems from this particular rectifier because, again, it's a Chinese rectifier, even though it says Ruby on it. And that was improved somewhat by the addition of what's called a yellow sheet modification. Uh, the yellow sheet modification is so-called because it was originally drawn out on a piece of yellow legal pad. You can just Google yellow sheet mod and you'll see a picture of that uh, yellow piece of paper with the schematic drawn out on it. What that amounts to is adding solid state diodes in series with a vacuum tube rectifier. And the solid state diodes take the burden of the peak inverse voltage off of the rectifier. Uh, but the rectifier is still in the circuit, it's still rectifying the AC, and it is still providing the soft start function that a 5AR4 is known for. So it's, it's just a good sort of a belt and suspenders method of keeping things working. You've got both solid state and vacuum tube rectifiers. I did eventually replace the Chinese 5AR4 with a uh, Millard 5AR4, which is a lot better tube. Millard's, even uh, a used one in decent condition like this, is about a $75 tube. A new old stock Millard will run anywhere from $125 to $150. You can buy uh, the Chinese 5AR4s for $18 or $20, but you're getting what you're paying for. You're getting a piece of crap, so don't do it. Anyway, there is the Stereo 70, and that's what was done to it, and uh, it's up and running. And uh, I guess Monday we'll start on something else. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.